My name is Hadi Mohsin. In this video, I'm going to explain C-section anatomy, which consists of seven layers. First up is the skin. It is often cut horizontally around 10 to 11 centimeters long to accommodate the size of the fetus head. Next up is the fat layer. It is yellow in color, also cut horizontally. Following the fat comes the fascia. It is a tough fibrous connective tissue layer. It holds many things in place and it is also cut horizontally. The next layer up is the muscle. Now most people think we cut through the muscle but we actually don't. We separate them vertically and pull them out of the way. After the muscle comes the peritoneum. This is a thin clear layer that lines the abdominal cavity. It is cut vertically then once to the peritoneum we finally get to the uterus. As we know, uterus is anterior of the bladder so it's pulled down and out of the way with a protective device we use in an operating room. The uterus is often cut horizontally but in an emergency it might be cut vertically to gain access to the baby then much quicker. Then of course we come to the amniotic sac. Amniotic sac contains a baby or fetus and the amniotic fluid. Now this sac can be cut into or pulled with a pair of forceps. It doesn't really matter because it doesn't stain and get repaired.